Welcome, in front of me is a Vivo X300 and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. So, to get started we will swipe down from the top right side of the screen like this which will bring down our toggles. Now swipe down and you should find your hotspot toggle somewhere. I believe it is added by default, but if for some reason you don't see it, uh, you can add it yourself by clicking right here on this pencil. And then in this list right here, you should be able to then locate the uh, hotspot toggle. When you see it, you would just start holding it. As you can see, it gives you a haptic feedback vibration and you can just move it around and you want to move it outside of this list like so. Click on the check mark to save that and Obviously, when you add your hotspot, it should be then definitely visible somewhere here. For me, this toggle is right over here. And once you see it first time around from this specific list, you want to hold it. And this quickly takes you to the settings. Now, the reason you want to navigate into the settings is because under the hotspot configuration, you can find the god awful password. It is a randomly generated jumbled mess of letters and numbers. And I do recommend just getting rid of it straight away and then setting up your own new password, which will need to have at least eight characters in length. Hence why I'm making something very simple. Um, my memory is simple, so at least it makes it easy to later on type it in on a device whenever I needed to use it at random occasions. It's best I have a freaking simple password so I can easily remember it. Now, so that's one thing in here. Now, if we go back in here, we do have a couple additional options, which I do want to talk about. We have security, keep it as it is. AP band. Um, now that could be altered depending on circumstances and I do kind of want to point out some moronic design. So we have AP band either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and then we have support Wi-Fi 6 aka use, uh, use 5 gigahertz band. Why is this like separate option? Th these are literally the same thing as far as I, I, I'm aware. So anyway um, Let's disregard this, it honestly means nothing. And AP band will be the, the thing that is important. So uh, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Now, if you don't know what these are, I'm gonna quickly explain it. So the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi is basically what every device uses. Every device that has any kind of Wi-Fi connectivity. If, if a, a laptop from 1990 had Wi-Fi, it had this uh, 2.4 gigahertz. If, uh, if you select it to 5 gigahertz, like I have it right now, that laptop that I mentioned, hypothetical one, will not be able to see this hotspot at all. Because the 5 gigahertz is just a higher frequency that uh, the antennas on that device cannot really see. So, if you select the 5 gigahertz, which is going to be faster and more stable connection, just know that some older devices, like really old, might not see this, uh, this hotspot at all. If that is the case for you, if you don't see the Vivo X300 hotspot, whatever name you have right here, then that means that whatever you're trying to connect with does not support this band. Now do give it sometimes a couple of seconds for it to show up. Don't be like, you know, if you don't see it immediately, it must not support it. Uh, but just know that if uh, like, you know, after some period of time, you still don't see it pop up, it just might not support it. And changing it to 2.4 will fix that for you. Now, additionally, uh, giving a little bit of a kind of uh, thought right here about this, I do primarily recommend sticking with 2.4 and only switching it to 5 gigahertz if you are in like a heavy congested area where there's a lot of different Wi-Fi signals. Uh, the Wi-Fi that is 5 gigahertz one will have an easier time uh, just kind of being broadcasted and you having a stable connection with it over the 2.4, but that is in circumstances where maybe you live in like New York City and you have Wi-Fi signals literally everywhere. Obviously, uh, that might be more annoying and a lot of people being connected to the single uh, single Wi-Fi, specifically 2.4, would also make this a little bit less feasible. Um, so anyway, since changing it to 5 gigahertz will obviously try to mitigate some of these problems. But for the usually advertised reasons like the Wi-Fi speed uh, and uh, just data bandwidth and how many devices can be connected. This is usually a kind of no problem for a phone. You're not running 100 connected devices of a mobile phone as a hotspot. That's one. Number two, the increased speed 
most of us don't have a uh, half a gig of network speed on our phone for us to be even able to utilize the 500 uh, or uh, 500 5 gigahertz uh wi-fi so it doesn't matter what you select right here in these circumstances 2.4 can get you through most network connection speeds that you possibly can get on your phone and usually you're just limited by the antennas around not really the not, not really a reason for you to change to 5 gigahertz just for that 2.4 will get you stupid fast internet anyway faster than what you're most likely getting from the cell provider anyways so with that out of the way once everything is uh set meaning your password you want to talk about one more thing uh when you change your password make sure you click on the check mark which i just didn't do <coughs> so that would have been a bit, bit of an l so once you tap on the check mark it will obviously save the changes and and here we have also a couple things uh to mention we have maximum number of connected devices set to 10 uh which again uh, like i mentioned before five gigahertz uh, more connected devices at the same time uh increased uh the device only limits you to 10 it's again uh, well in the capabilities of 2.4 gigahertz means absolutely nothing for you to change it to five when the phone is limiting you to to 10 so anyway uh Device is connected. When some devices are connected, they will show up right here. Blacklist, you can actually block devices from connecting. So if someone guesses your password, you can just straight up get rid of them and not be remove the permission from them to connect to your uh, hotspot even when they know the password. And lastly, more hotspot settings consists of uh, two things that I do want to talk about. Auto off. So when no devices is connected for 10 minutes, Right, yep, uh, no device connected for 10 minutes, it will automatically turn off your hotspot. Now, great option, you can change the times right here or you can turn that off. Now, because this is running in a way that it's turning off hotspot when no device is connected, it's actually a way better option because when you have a laptop connected to your computer or to your phone a hotspot, as an example, uh, your computer always stays connected as long as it's on. The only time it will disconnect is, for instance, when you shut it down, close the lid or something like along those lines, it goes to sleep. So then it will disconnect and it will start this timer and turn it off. But when you're just kind of procrastinating and you're still technically using it, but you might be not using internet at the moment, it will stay on, which some devices have it the other way around that it's inactivity period, which means that when no internet is being used. This is much better. Uh, and the timer right here is pretty decent. You can change it if you want to. If for some reason, sometimes it turns it off for you. You might want to turn change it to something else like 30, 60, maybe even. Uh, but I find this to be perfect. And you also have uh, one of mobile data limits. So you can change the how much data can be used uh, through that hotspot every single time uh, you turn it on. And you have a couple like traditional 50, 100, 200, 500 megabytes. You also have custom, which you can obviously put further, uh, more limit onto it. Now, I don't know how about you, but I use way more than uh, than 500 megabytes of data on my devices. Shit, yesterday I, I used 40 gigs. I don't have internet at home because problems. But anyway, um, I generally still use a lot more mobile network and that for me it's none of these options really are usable i use it technically with unlimited because i don't need to worry about it i have unlimited plan but if you do have a limited plan like i don't know a couple gigabytes usually you definitely want to set a limit cap on here so you don't surpass it and then get either have no internet or you get charged extra so set one up right now and just have peace of mind anyway once everything is set like it is right now we can find this toggle and just tap on it to turn it on and if you want to you can also turn it off yourself you don't need to wait for the timer to kick in and turn it off for you you can do that right away and the reason you might want to do that is because hotspot will consume more of your phone's battery so when you're not using it even though you have a 10 minutes till it automatically turns off you can do that before that timer to save just a little bit more battery so with that extensive explanation i hope you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching